Hello. Now, once you've had a migraineous headache attack, you may experience a reduction in mood, difficulty thinking, lethargy, or you may feel excessively tired. And this may go on post-headache for about a week. Sometimes this phase can last longer than your headache. Your headache may last 4 to 72 hours, but after that, you may have this period of relatively semi-functioning state that may go on for a week. In some people with migraine or who've had repeated migraine attacks, they find that in between the migraineous attacks, they find it difficult to think. Some people find it that they are intolerant to light. And you may find that you become phobic and apprehensive. And hence, your quality of life may go down. So just imagine if you keep on getting migraineous attacks, you are constantly living in fear, wondering when is your next attack. And then you may decide to avoid certain triggers, such as certain sounds, smells, light. And this can impact your lifestyle choices, such as your work, your career choices, impacts your studying and your relationships with your family and your friends. You may start avoiding certain social circumstances or invitations to certain social events, worried that you will get a migraineous attack or because you are in the post-attack lethargic phase. So migraine has a huge impact on quality of life. Migraine has huge implications because it is the number one cause of neurological disability worldwide. It is frequently underdiagnosed and undertreated. You no longer need to suffer with these bad headaches because we have good effective treatment for migraine. Now the treatment for migraine starts with prevention. Now how can we prevent a migraineous attack? If you know what the trigger is, you should try to avoid the triggers. Besides that, make sure you're well hydrated. Make sure you eat regularly at regular intervals. Make sure you get good sleep. If you find it difficult to sleep, you can take certain sleep supplements. In addition, magnesium has been found to help with migraineous attacks. That is in the prevention stage. Aerobic exercise can also help preventing migraine. Stress management is also very important as stress can trigger migraine. Now, the specific drugs that act on migraine or act for migraine target a peptide called CGRP or also known as calcitonin gene-related peptide. Now, these peptides have been found to be released in the brain during a migraineous attack and these peptides in turn target the blood vessels causing blood vessel dilatation. Now, we have specific drugs which can target these CGRP peptides and these are called CGRP monoclonal antibodies. Now, these drugs are given intravenously or subcutaneous, usually monthly. There are also oral drugs which can be taken during the migraineous attack that also target these CGRP molecules. So in, eff in effect, we have a prevention phase where you take anti-CGRP drugs month on a monthly basis. And then you have a treatment phase, that is when you get your acute attack, you can also take oral medication which can terminate the attack. And these are good, safe drugs. They have been around since 2018. So they are at least 5 to 6 years old already. You do not need to take Panadol, Paracetamol or Acetaminophen or traditional painkillers to terminate a migraine attack because these treatments are non-specific. The specific treatment targets your CGRP molecules. Thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video.
and I'll see you next time.